What is camshaft position sensor? Function. Working principle. Types of a camshaft position sensor. Symptoms of a faulty camshaft position sensor. How the camshaft position sensor is tested. Frequently asked questions. What is camshaft position sensor? The camshaft position sensor is an electronic device used in an engine that measures the rotation and position of the camshaft and feeds the data to the vehicle's engine control module. The ECM uses this data to control when to command spark and fuel for the best engine efficiency. When the air-fuel mixture is ignited at the right time, engine power and fuel savings are increased, and tailpipe emissions are reduced. On modern types of engines, the camshaft position sensor determines which cylinder is in its power stroke relative to the crankshaft position, providing fuel and spark to start the engine when you step on the accelerator. These sensors are typically fastened to the engine in order to pull has an electrical connection. A camshaft position sensor is a very small but extremely important magnetic device. Function The followings are the common functions of a camshaft position sensor. To determine which cylinder is on its power stroke, a camshaft position sensor is used by the car's computer to monitor the rotating position of the camshaft relative to the crankshaft position. This information will be used to alter the spark timing and fuel injector operation. The CAM sensor, also known as the camshaft position sensor, is responsible for informing the ECM of the camshaft position. The crank and cam sensors are in time with one another. In a sequential system, the CAM sensor is typically employed to determine which injector to fire and for the COP or coil unplug ignition system coil firing event. The camshaft position sensor collects and communicates data on the vehicle's camshaft speed to the engine control module. This information is used by the ECM to determine the ignition timing as well as the timing of the fuel injection required by the engine. The engine would not be able to work effectively without this information. Working Principle The working of a camshaft position sensor is less complex and can be easily understood. Just as earlier stated, the ECU in a sequential fuel injection system must decide which cylinder to ignite next. The cylinder identification sensor provides this information. Whenever the first cylinder is at the top dead center during engine rotation, the sensor transmits a signal to the onboard controller. As a result, the duration of the pulse injection may be calculated. The onboard controller in simultaneous fuel injection systems does not identify the cylinders or the firing sequence because it is not required for the system to function. The exact cylinder is determined when a crankshaft or distributor advance ignition signal comes by detecting the mechanical locations of the crankshaft, camshaft, valves, or distributor shaft. Types of camshaft position sensor Magnetic type sensor The magnetic type camshaft position sensor is recognized by the two wires that it contains. This generates its own voltage, an alternating current sine wave signal. It can be located inside the distributor or on the camshaft. As it is near the camshaft, which has a permanent magnet device attached to it. Each time the magnet passes through the sensor, its magnetic field produces, and the resulting pulse is sent to the ECM for processing. Hall Effect Sensor Whereas this type of camshaft sensor has three wires. The first wire is for its reference power, the second for its ground, and the third for the signal voltage to be sent to the computer. The Hall Effect sensor is also located inside the distributor or on the camshaft. It has a screen with a slot and a magnet mounted on the shaft. When the screen moves between the magnet and the sensor, the sensor is turned on and off. As long as the screen has a solid area in front of the sensor, the feedback voltage is interrupted as the magnetic field splits. AC Output Sensor These are special types of camshaft position sensors that generate an AC voltage signal as an output. The ECM generates a very high frequency, 150 to 2500 cycles, for the exciter coil, which is located near the rotating disc. This disc is mounted on the end of the camshaft and has a slot with it. When the slot passes through the coil, it is excited by mutual induction, and a signal indicating the position of the first cylinder is sent to the ECM. 
These sensors are mostly seen in Vauxhall EcoTEC engines. Symptoms of a faulty camshaft position sensor. The followings are the common problem one encounter when a camshaft position sensor fails. Check engine light is on. When your camshaft position sensor fails or starts to malfunction, the first thing you should notice is that your dashboard's check engine light illuminates. Obviously, the check engine light could signal a lot of issues, including a malfunctioning camshaft position sensor. If the warning light on the dashboard is on, ask a mechanic to run a diagnostic scan as soon as possible to find the exact problem. All vehicles have an OBS system that efficiently monitors the vehicle's hardware and software and can detect deterioration in a part before it fails completely, leading to imperceptible performance changes. It will also scan to get a series of error codes that will indicate to them what the real problem is. If the light blinks always, stop the vehicle immediately and turn off your car. If you ignore it, it can cause serious damage to the engine. Ignition problem. If the camshaft position sensor fails while you're driving, the engine will occasionally lose power, causing your car to shake or surge forward at random. These are both caused by the PCM receiving inaccurate information from the camshaft position sensor, resulting in an incorrect quantity of fuel being pumped into the cylinders. Engine stalling. Even worse than not being able to start your automobile is having your engine shut down or stall while driving because the fuel injectors aren't being told to feed fuel into the cylinders. The main reason for not supplying suitable fuel is a bad camshaft position sensor. When the fuel injectors are not delivering the proper amount of fuel, the engine may experience stalling which can lead to costly repairs. Poor acceleration. When your camshaft sensor begins to fail, your vehicle will jerk and be unable to accelerate quickly. In certain circumstances, you'd be lucky if you got past 30 miles per hour. Incorrect fuel supply by the injectors is again to blame for the weak acceleration. Problem shifting. Certain models of cars with a faulty camshaft position sensor will develop a locked transmission, which will remain in a single gear. The only way out of that gear is to turn off your engine, wait a few moments, and then restart. High fuel consumption. A faulty camshaft position sensor can negatively affect fuel economy which means the engine will consume more fuel than usual. Because of this, the fuel injectors will probably be putting too much fuel into the combustion chamber. This symptom is very rare but not negligible and requires immediate repair or replacement of the camshaft sensor. If you experience a high fuel consumption, you should simply check the trouble codes for any codes related to the camshaft position sensor to get solutions. Engine misfire. The signal from the camshaft sensor is required to operate fuel injectors, as well as most timing-based engine functions, such as spark control. In addition to all these symptoms, a failed camshaft position sensor can cause your engine to misfire which can cause vibrations while accelerating. If you find that the check engine light on the dashboard has reduced your car's engine performance, then it is definitely time to look up your car's trouble codes. If this continues, it can also cause poor acceleration or other problems. Gas smell a faulty camshaft sensor can indirectly dump unburned fuel into a vehicle's exhaust system. This not only affects the fuel economy but can also cause some irritating black smoke from the tailpipe. This unburned fuel gas from the tailpipe causes a noticeable smell which is very dangerous for people. Rough idling Rough idling of the engine can also be caused by a failure of the camshaft position sensor. When the camshaft sensor malfunctions, rough idle occurs due to asynchronous combustion in the cylinder. Engine won't start. This is the most common symptom that every driver faces due to a bad camshaft position sensor. Because of this, the vehicle starts very difficultly and in some cases does not start at all. As the camshaft sensor weakens, 
it does not send a signal to the ECM and, as a result, the ignition system cannot generate sparks correctly. How the camshaft position sensor is tested There are two types of camshaft position sensors, one has two wires known as magnetic or inductive type camshaft position sensor and the other has three wires known as Hall effect camshaft position sensor. To test the two wire or inductive type camshaft position sensor, we need to run some tests with the help of a digital multimeter. Here is how to test an inductive camshaft position sensor. First of all, shift the gear or the transmission of the vehicle to parking or neutral in case of a manual vehicle. Once we have done that, you should put the vehicle on emergency brakes. Now, identify the ground and signal wires. Turn the setting of the digital multimeter to DC volts. Connect the red cable of the digital multimeter to the back of the signal wire at the connector and the black lead of the digital multimeter to the battery negative terminal to check the voltage signal of the two-wire camshaft position sensor. Crank the engine and check the voltage that the harness connector gives off. The signal received by the digital multimeter is close to 1.5 volts. Different vehicles give off different voltages, depending on the model of your vehicle. You can consult the repair manual of the vehicle to get the exact voltage of your vehicle. Now, to check the ground of the cam sensor, turn the digital multimeter to connectivity mode. Back probe the harness connector's ground wire to the red lead of the multimeter and black lead of the digital multimeter to the battery negative terminal. You will hear a beep sound which indicates that the sensor's ground is working. A three-wire cam sensor is of Hall effect type camshaft position sensor, which produces a squared and digital signal. This signal represents the highest and the lowest possible points of voltage. Here is how to test three-wire cam sensors with a multimeter. Shift the gear or the transmission of the vehicle to parking or neutral in case of a manual vehicle. Once you have done that, you should put the vehicle on emergency brakes. Set the digital multimeter to the DC voltage settings. Now, you will have to back probe the harness connector's power or reference wire to the red lead of the digital multimeter and connect the black lead of the digital multimeter to the negative terminal of the battery. Ask someone to start the engine for you, so you can note the reading on the digital multimeter. The reading on the screen of the digital multimeter must be 5 volts, some vehicles use 12 volts. Once you are done checking the power wire, turn the digital multimeter to the connectivity mode. Now, you will have to back probe the harness connector's ground wire to the red lead of the digital multimeter. Connect the black lead of the digital multimeter to the negative terminal of the battery of the vehicle. You will hear a beep sound which indicates that the sensor's ground is working. Now coming on to the last wire. Back probe the signal wire of the camshaft position sensor to the red lead of the digital multimeter. Connect the black lead of the digital multimeter to the negative terminal of the battery. Ask someone to start the vehicle's engine so you can note the reading on the screen of the digital multimeter. The reading on the screen of the digital multimeter should be 0 to 5 volts if the camshaft position sensor is working correctly, if not, you must get the camshaft position sensor replaced by a mechanic. Frequently Asked Questions What's the difference between a crankshaft sensor and a camshaft sensor? The main difference between camshaft and crankshaft position sensors is that the camshaft position sensor is used to find the position of the camshaft while the crankshaft position sensor is used to detect the position of the crankshaft and piston. Will a bad camshaft sensor throw a code? Usually a camshaft sensor intermittent failure can produce no code. But you'll notice a change in drivability performance at times. Sometimes it's possible to detect the failure with a scan tool. How many camshaft sensors are in a car? For camshaft sensors, while the number can vary based on the age of your car, a new car should have four camshaft sensors one for each camshaft. A camshaft sensor determines the exact position of your engine's camshaft, 
helping your car keep your engine's combustion running smoothly. Should a camshaft position sensor have oil on it? It's a normal thing for a camshaft position sensor to have oil on it. The oil is necessary for its functionality. However, the sensor housing has to be in good shape to work perfectly. A crack in the sensor housing can result in oil contamination which could make the sensor fail. What does a bad cam sound like? The symptoms of a bad camshaft include frequent backfiring and popping. You may also experience cylinder misfires at low and high speeds. Additionally, if your camshaft lobes are worn, you may hear tapping and ticking noises from the upper engine.